I want to turn to the book of Joshua, chapter number 10. We have been preaching in the last few weeks about prayer, and we went into how the Lord answers prayer, and I thought that we might spend a night about how he says yes, or if he says no, or if he says wait. But somehow on the very first one, when God says yes, we got tied up right there. And for a number of weeks, I'm not sure how many, we've been tied up on the thought when the Lord says yes. And that is still true again tonight in this text of Joshua chapter number 10. May I say tonight before I preach that the book of Joshua chapter 10 is one of the most debated and even ridiculed chapters in all the word of God. There are many scoffers, many professors, many theologians, and even I have preacher friends who do not believe that the Bible is to be taken literally. They believe that it is folklore or that you can spiritualize it. May I just say tonight, I want to spend a little time just trying to prove tonight the Word of God, and, and, and I can't do it, but he's already done it, and he's going to do it. He's going to do it even tonight as we look in this text. And I want to go on record saying that I believe every question mark, every period, every exclamation mark, every punctuation mark in the entire word of God, I believe the word of God in its entirety. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm very proud of it. And if you think about it, even in human reasoning and intellect, this will make sense to you tonight. In the book of Joshua chapter 10, we're going to study the sun stood still. That's the